Rise and shine, everybody! We're back on air! Come outside in 120 seconds for more info. Ugh, don't scream through that megaphone like that. Your voice is already loud enough. I just want to tell everyone who's complaining that I can't hear you! Ugh, this is giving me a migraine. Wait, we're back? I thought this whole thing was shamelessly cancelled because he was demotivated or something. I guess we're gonna have to go outside and see what's up. Hello everybody, I'm, I'm sure you're wondering why I called you all over here. Yeah, I am. Why are we doing this gag anyways? We're doing this gag because I have no humor-related talent, and as such... Ugh, just freaking explain yourself already! Well, I just decided to continue the series because I felt like it shouldn't just be stopped at episode 2. So that means you're no longer going to be staying in your cabins and riding like the homeless bums you are. I guess that's good. So, we are going to be doing episode 3. And 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. What about not- 7, 8, 9. <laughs> So this challenge is something I'd like to call Truth or Die. It's very similar to Truth or Dare. Sounds like my kind of challenge. See, this crappy dialogue of yours is why you don't get any focus in any of the episodes. But- So, how will this challenge work? I'm sure you've all noticed these three crates on this large desk next to me. No, I that really just haven't. appear what? out of nowhere? Well, these boxes are labeled from left to right, contestants, mm. questions, and dares. The contestants box contains- Let me just take a wild guess. An anchor, a button, a candle, a colored dye, a dollar, a duffel bag, a stick of gum, a key, a lamp, a magazine, a mouse pad, a piece of sandpaper, a soup can, and a tire. Right? Incorrect. This box actually contains 16 index cards, which I put each of your names on. So, the questions box is filled with 16 index cards, on which are written 16 different, excruciatingly embarrassing, and sometimes dangerous questions to answer. And finally, the dares box contains 16 more index cards, on which are written 16 more extremely dangerous dares. I have a bad feeling about this. Let me finish explaining. So, there will be four rounds in the challenge. At the start of each round, I will pick one random contestant from the first contestant's crate, and the chosen contestant will have to compete in that round, and then I'll throw the card away after the round is complete. That means four randomly chosen contestants out of the 16 of you will compete, and the other 12 will not. What about me? Well, wait, what? Who are you? I'm Harambe. Wait, but aren't you supposed to be a gorilla or something? Whatever, you aren't even on the show. Why are you interrupting? This was the part where the channel was supposed to say something MLG, but the meme died. So yeah, Harambe. Get out. But- GET OUT! Hey, you shouldn't treat a fine gorilla like Harambe like that. But he's not even a- Wait, are we seriously arguing whether or not Harambe is a gorilla? Ah oh man, this show is going downhill faster than your chances of getting a girlfriend in the next five years. Well anyways, during each round after a contestant is chosen, that contestant chooses whether they want to do truth or dare. If the contestant chooses to do truth, I will choose a random question out of the questions box. And if the contestant would like, they can switch to doing a dare if they don't want to answer the question after they hear it. But if they don't choose to do a dare instead, and if that contestant doesn't answer the question given in 20 seconds, or if they choose to pass, then their team will automatically lose the entire challenge, and the other team will win. However, if they do answer the question within 20 seconds, then their team will win and move on to the next round. If the contestant chooses to do a dare, I will pick a random, sometimes deadly dare, from the dares box. And again, after I read the dare to the contestant, they can choose whether or not they want to switch to actually doing truth, a question. But if the contestant does not do the dare within the time specified on the index card itself, or chooses to chicken out, then again, their team will lose, and the other team will win. Sound like fun? This challenge sounds sadistic. Too bad! Let's do this! First contestant is... Dollar! Dollar, would you like to do truth or dare? Uh, I'd like truth. Alright, let me choose a question. Ah, a classic. If you were rescuing everyone in the competition from a burning building, but you had to leave one behind, who would it be? Uh... Who besides color dye? Hmm... Magazine has that annoying lisp. Lamp is way too stupid to do anything, and Tyre is too freaking smart for his own good. 
Oh no, we're running low on time. Color dye. Color dye it is then. What did you just say? Yeah, that's right. Color. Wait, what? So, Team A Throw moves on to the next round. Soup can. So, what's it gonna be, Soupy? Truth or dare? Dare, I guess. Alright, Soup can. Yes? I dare you to eat your choice of either real vomit or fake vomit made out of rubber. What? Yar! That'll send his hindquarters to Davy Jones's locker! Meh, we'll just have to see. So, what do you choose? Fake or real vomit? Well, real vomit has been in someone's organs and bodies before, and it came out of someone's mouth once, so it's probably ridden with germs. I'll choose a fake rubber vomit. Bon appetit! Oh, God. <sighs> Should I just quit out on this? It's for my own good. <sighs> for the team! Wow, Sukan. You're really invested in the competition. It'll be sad to see you go, man. Sad to see me go? I'm not gonna die. Uh, yeah you will. That rubber you just ate is gonna clog your internal organs and your stomach won't be able to digest it. Oh god, I didn't know it would kill me! Well, Sukan, you've gotta remember that I did say some of the dares would be deadly earlier. You all also signed a contract at the beginning of the game. So guess what? I'm not legally liable for any of the deaths I cause! It's more fun that way. Well, guys, let's just be hopeful instead of fearful. There's not a hundred percent chance who can's gonna die. You know, whenever an emergency could happen, it never does. Well, that may just be the stupidest thing I've ever heard, and that's saying a lot. I've been living on this planet for 17 years, and I've only had to call 911 once in my life. I start fire, so I've had to call the emergency superheroes a lot more than you have. We're getting off track, guys. Let's just keep going. But you practically just mur- I'm not legally liable. Anyways, M through Z moves on to the next round. Now let's choose another contestant. Candle, what are you gonna choose? Um, how about another dare? Good choice. So, Candle, I dare you to... Push a randomly chosen contestant off an eight-story building. Oh my wax, that's so barbaric. Candle, please don't copy BFDI. We could get a lawsuit for that kind of thing, you know. Did somebody say lawsuit? Uh... So, firstly, welcome to the Objectian Trade Building, everyone. In the heat of everything that's been going on, I forgot to choose the random contestant that Candle here will be shoving off the building. Gummy! What? Gummy? Correct. Up the building you go! I'm really sorry about this, Gummy. It's okay, Candle. It's for the good of the game. Okay, here we go. Uh, um, no. I'm your friend, Gummy. I would never do this to another friend. I'm not that type of person anymore. But it's for the team! Your safety is more important than winning. Our safety and well-being is more important than anything. What in the name of Melvin is going on here? Oh, uh, what's a Melvin? You don't need to know that. Now, how about you do a little bit less talking, and you do just a teeny see a little bit more falling on your face from 90 feet in the air and dying flip phone what i don't want to do this i pass wait are you sure yes all right then let's go down and tell everyone who won the challenge all right everyone we have a winner what happened who won i wanted to see someone fall off a building you guys won and as such don't even think about it I knew that emergency frying pan would come in handy sometime. Anyways, as such, Team Aetherall learned another point in the game. So, this has been another very unexpected episode of Battle for Object Destination. As always, if you liked the episode, why don't you click that gray thumbs up button below the video around here. Now, if you really liked it, and want to see even more episodes when they land on the channel, you should click that subscribe button next to my icon down here if you haven't already. Look out for the subscribe button. If you have some constructive feedback on how I did the episode, or if you would like to rush me in to make the next episode, of course, then you can leave a comment down here. Take note that I read every single one I get, even if I don't reply to it. So if you'd like to grab my attention, post a pretty little bunch of words down there. But for now, I'll see you all next time on Battle for Object Destination!
So, why didn't you want to push Gummy off? Aren't you two on different teams or something? Look, I'm a friend, and I don't want to hurt my friends. I'm not that type of person who Flip Phone wants me to be. Be completely honest here. Are you crushing on Gummy? Uh, no. I'm gay. I have a crush on someone else. Who? I won't tell anyone. I swear. Nobody you would know.